Is he theories? This is more like a Quentin Tarantino movie uh, with everything except the gimp, and I think the gimp's still going to show oh, up. Oh, good. I hated the gimp this, in that this, movie. Look, 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 this is complex, and let me try to simplify yeah. it. Basically, De Debbie Wasserman Schultz, Schultz has employed three brothers who were of Pakistani origin uh, at three times the salary of everybody else who does IT on Capitol Hill. Mm. And this all started years ago. They must be really good at their job. Uh, well, apparently they, they, fail, they failed at working at Best Buy and other places. So I guess if you fail at Best Buy, you get to be hired by the Hill. Were they at Best Buy? Uh, I, I can't remember which one. It was one okay. of those outlets. Now, what happened, though, is that she's employed these folks. And over the past years, there's been real issues regarding the fact that every other Democrat person they worked for on the Hill fired them but they were retained by her. Now what is really key here to remember, Laura, it's not about hard drives, it's about the fact that these individuals during the time they worked for her on Capitol Hill in her position there as a member of Congress. Three brothers, three Pakistani brothers, origin, which is not in and of itself not a bad thing at all. Bad, had massive access to all sorts of databases to include uh, email of other members of Congress, super user access to the system itself, and most importantly, the, the sensitive information being held by the House uh, Foreign Affairs Committee and other committees that they had access to. Uh, what this all comes down to is like, okay, you could have all that, but what gets worse is she actually employs these folks apparently to do hideous things behind the scenes. There's evidence now that at least one of these brothers was helping her do the Bernie uh, uh, Sanders malevolent activities of trying to manipulate things against him. Mm -hmm. They actually helped her do things like voice change calls. They actually did all these other things, which, and well, then. Who are these characters? And then. Who are they? they this dumped, is just. Then there's evidence Something now that all this information here. they had access to dumped off into a third database, which is now being called a breach. So that's why the Capitol Hill police rolled in saying yeah. there's something wrong here. And now the FBI has so, rolled in. And, and let me give you this, yeah. the, the big, uh, big uh, takeaway here. It looks like a foreign intelligence service may be the recipient of all this and something called the Muslim Brotherhood. So whoa, 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 the Muslim Brotherhood the Muslim and Brotherhood. Debbie. Oh, they're going to really say it's yes. conspiracy theory really now. Really conspiracy now, but that's where apparently all this has been going in law enforcement. That's why the FBI is now investigating beyond the wire Well, these front. brothers have been kicking around Capitol Hill in various capacities for, uh, for IT. Right. But they essentially were blacklisted by most of the other uh, Democrats, correct? Right. But, yet, correct. but yet she found it, she gave them a home. She gave Very them a home. interesting. And, and, and they actually suspended most of their access in February of this year, and she kept them on anyway. So She's just a very very nice person. Apparently. It's a, apparently it's a jobs program I over guess there that, at the DNC. I guess $300,000 being kicked over to Pakistan finally was a straw that broke the candles back. Uh, but his wife is gone. She's safely right. over there in Pakistan. Uh, Lieutenant, oh, keep covering it yep. for us. Lieutenant Colonel Schaefer, thank you so much. Thank you. And